First at 11, we want to get to the deadly day on the water in the Keys, a boat crashing, sending people off the boat and into the water. At this hour, we know one person has died. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Chelsea Jones. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero is at Jackson South Medical Center where the victims were taken after this crash. Three people were transported here to Jackson South as a result of the morning crash. Florida Fish and Wildlife confirming one of them has died. This as law enforcement continued their investigation into the evening hours. Saturday night, multiple agencies were on and off the water near the card sound, working together to pull a piece of what appears to be part of a boat out of the water. Florida Fish and Wildlife, along with Miami-Dade Police Marine Patrol and Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, used a crane to bring it to the surface. This happening hours after a Saturday morning boat crash. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, the crash happened right before 1030 a.m. The call came in as a crash with multiple injuries. According to Florida Fish and Wildlife, three people were on a boat traveling south when a sudden turn threw them from the boat. The Coast Guard says air rescue was necessary to pull two of them out of the water. They were taken to the hospital as trauma alerts. Then there was a search for the third person. Currently, we're searching as well for a missing uh, person that was on the vessel. And we'll update further once the uh, air rescue is deployed. Got the command. Two other vessels also involved searching for the missing patient. That third person was found and was also taken to the hospital where they died. This is the second boat crash to happen down in the Keys this week. The first happened on Thursday. A Hialeah woman died in that crash. Florida Fish and Wildlife is the lead in this investigation and says it's ongoing. At Jackson South, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.